All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Come Red on, Dead John. 2. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot offer. Follow me. I know the way. Come on. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. Quite this a lot. Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. All right. Should be just down this path. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Come on. All we need is some wooden walls and some cannons and we got a good <laughs> fortification point. Oh, shit. It's them again. Damn it. Oh. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Tough guy. You think? I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward, like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? 
All right, John. Can't go through that way. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Sounds good. Got some food for the gators. Caravan, guiding them in. One upstairs directly, there's another one over here. Probably with no head, yep, with no head. And just bleeding all over the place. Alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. All right. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Might be Everything important. okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Well, there's plenty of places we could oh. go. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. 
Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Welcome to civilization, everybody. Let's see. Kill all the Lemoyne. Oh, yeah, I think ja uh, John got a couple of them. Hello. All right, let's see where we headed. Got some bounties right there. There's a gun store. And an Angelo Bronte mission. Let's go stock up on some ammo first. Has anyone seen Gavin? What the hell's your problem? Hello, mister. Listen, have you seen. I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know. I ain't seen no Gavin. Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Sorry, Look. no clue. That's, uh, that's too bad. I, I can't, can I get Pat? There we go. Just wander around screaming somebody's name, hoping that you'll find them. In a city, no less. I know he does that like all over the place, but still, it, it makes zero sense. Excuse oh, me, you son of, of a bitch. Oh, Lordy. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't cripple you. Also very surprised the cops didn't hear that uh, gunshot. Haha, ready to do some more shopping? Let's have a look in here. Mott Revolver? I don't remember seeing that anywhere. And this is new. Hello. Well, you don't mess around. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. That's a fine firearm. Length. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. Well, that's good. Besides the shopper, I like it. Oh, you don't mess around. <sighs> Metals. Don't want to go with gold sights. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. All right. Let's get 
two and complete the set. Quite a bit of money, so you know, gotta spend it on something. Engravings. cartridges. Uh, repeater. I hope this don't bring more people to Chinatown. But I am still waiting. And I'll wait to give this a try. Oh, okay. Oh, Seigneur. Okay, let's check in on our leads. So, so, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists, America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. <laughs> Everybody just stopped for a minute. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I said, <clears throat> that's Excuse me. a little more for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of a Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? There's an Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. Do you, you know, know what something? I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. All right. Thank you, oh, sir. And friend, 
you be careful now. You always am. They're not to be trusted. Yeah, sure, definitely. Oh shit! What did I do? Oh, I accidentally ran him off. Shit! I broke the law. Literally, all I did is accidentally hit him with my horse. He would have got up and been fine. Bronte, Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. So squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. Oh, right, let's try that again. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. How are you, boy? Same drunk fool gonna stumble out. Oh my god, what the f Well, that's just lovely. To any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, what it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, right here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Shut up, kid. Come on, then. I ought to shoot you. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? Nope. No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You better stop right now. Can't call my horse. Bye, mister. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Kill this kid. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn, street trash. You up for that kid? I bet shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Oh, damn it. 
No, I can't. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around Damn here. Snitch! That's enough. Come here. Hey. Back here, you little piece of shit. See the like four guns on my person right now. Just give it up, kid. Hey, ma'am. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. I didn't know the slaughterhouse was on this street. Shit. Right, I tried to jump over it, but hmm. what's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't fans. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Oh, shit. Well, at least we know where he's at. Quarter. Get yourself some need. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I understand. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. How's everything? Which direction we headed? Over here? Back towards that bar? Boy. Dutch. 
All right, old man, I got it. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. All right. Well, not what I meant to do, but okay. I got a stranger mission over there, over there, and Dutch is right there. Morning. Hello. Uh, buenos dias. Hey, mister. All right, let's hitch up and get moving. Oh God, hey, you are tight right squeeze, it's a tight squeeze. Really? Again? Shit. In we go. Wait, what? This is not the door. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Oh, 
Okay. That was interesting. Don't cross over on me like that. All right, I can get a haircut down here. Where? Oh, this way. Exactly. All right, let's hope I didn't get hit by a trolley. bother you for a minute of your time all right can i tell you a little about what we're doing here sure less than a minute i promise uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the quincy harris memorial hall a shelter for homeless veterans and their families can you help a donation of 20 dollars would put us well on our way i'll get behind that Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. You too, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. How are you today? Her voice sounds very familiar. support our veterans and their families Ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me, this place <coughs> must be you okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. <laughs> I got this. Evening, boys. No worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city 
stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay. Well, we've made some progress in getting Jack back. I don't know, boy. boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Not a single one. We word. don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. What's your goddamn problem? Don't stop out in the middle of the horse's okay. path. I think this is it. Keep it down. You Let's hitch your horses shoulder? up ahead. Really? This way. Next. 
Somebody call. Somebody went there? No. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Mausoleum. Here's somebody crying this way. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. I understand. Pratt, sorry. Sure they are, buddy. Get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. Get in the car. And we'll bust the door in. You boys found my cop, he's watching! Split up. Careful, they're leading us out in the open. You low down bastards. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right knife for it. No doubt. We are you a Milo. Can hardly see what I'm shooting at. How did he disappear like that? No, you make do the hard way. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Hell, you shouldn't have come here. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Shit. more towards you. to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. No, this way. Of the way around. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Hope that's not it. Anything? Think there might be something in here. Oh no shit. Good. Now let's get out of here. That's the cops. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. It's all right. The best stick to the side.
Let's keep moving. Time to get moving. Come on, John. Oh, my God. Who died? John died. Arthur died. John died. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It ain't. We know this. Fucked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. All right, I will follow you this time. Come on. Go. Let's go around the side. I think we're clear. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Let's go. John go. Oh, he just far behind. Let's wait on. Oh, there he is. Lucky get this I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He... Best not be playing games with us. Come on, Arthur. All right, gentlemen. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, 
Thank Mr. Bronte for right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> really? <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? That she she did. sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left. Ugh. And left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right, all right, everybody. We got Jack back. Well, there's four to O. Oh. Total things, 10 minutes. Encounter the dog and drunk. I only encountered the drunk. And everybody's having a good old party. Well, 
I say we'll party with everybody when we return. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.